Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for September 22. This is the list of visual assets. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all of the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, the two excellent Humble bundles are still active. They were meant to have ended by now, but they were both extended. There's a tools bundle and a art bundle. I covered them in detail in previous videos, even used some of the art tools to make a very unique art style. Both have an extremely deep 98% discount, so they're worth it if just one asset looks interesting. Alright, so starting off with a pack of gorgeous skyboxes. Now, skyboxes are one of those tiny things that can make a huge difference. Just changing the default skybox with something proper will make your game feel so much better, so definitely make sure you do that. Then for a really nice animation pack, this one is all about wrestling animations. There's lots of interesting moves, you've got some kicks, jabs, grabs, a bunch of slams, and even some moves against the ropes. Definitely great for spicing up your melee action game. If you want something less human, then check out these elementals. It includes 12 elementals, fire, magma, storm, ice and more. It's a pretty nice design, would make for a great enemy or maybe some creature to populate your world. Next up, if you need a medieval dungeon, here's one. It's got some very high quality assets, everything is super detailed. It looks really dark, really gloomy, great atmosphere. There's tons of props and lots of modular pieces for you to build your own unique dungeons and perhaps feed them to a procedural generator. Next up, a really fun one, a professional stickman pack. It's got some very stylized characters, includes 15 unique ones, and it's actually pretty cheap. So if you're making some kind of jolly co-op game, then this would be perfect for it. Then if all you want is just a massive pack with tons of cars, look at this one. In total, there's over 100 unique models, each with multiple colors. Features all kinds of cars, from muscle cars, GT, rally, some hypercars, and tons more. For some effects, look at these impacts and hits. This would be perfect for adding a bunch more punchiness to your player actions. There's lots of color variation that can represent whatever you want, so quite a lot of variety. Then if you need a bunch of rings, look at this one. Perhaps these would be magical rings with some kind of special powers in your game. The Lord of the Rings TV show is about to come out, so if you have some interesting game ideas, then this could be great. If your game is set in Japan, here's a great Tokyo street. I definitely would like to go to Japan someday, and this looks just like every anime that I've ever seen. It's a really nice street, very small and cozy, there's tons of props everywhere, and all of the houses also include interiors, which is pretty nice. Then if you need a UI kit, look at this one. It's very dark, very gloomy, so this would be perfect for something just like Diablo. There's lots of sliders, buttons and icons. And also there's some bobbles, again just like Diablo or Path of Exile, and even some fancy bars. Up next, a pretty unique one, a female hair collection. I don't think I've ever seen a hair pack, but it definitely makes sense. Changing the hairstyle will make a huge difference on all of your characters. So this looks like a great pack to add that extra customization to your game. Then if you'd like to make a city very much like New York, look at this one. It's very realistic, you've got some very tall buildings and some very long streets. All of it is very blocky, so it would be easy to use this in a modular way to make your own custom city. It has a huge sample scene of 500 by 800 meters. Maybe you're working on a pixel art game, if so, here's a gorgeous pack. I really like the style on this one, it makes me think of Into the Breach. There's lots of mechs, buildings and vehicles, all of it really nice. Then for just a single but very high res character, here's a Hunter Warrior. This one is a very unique design, I love the mask. It has a humanoid ring, so you can easily get this character up and running. Next, if you need some drones, look at this pack. Features 6 big drones, 5 small ones and 3 extra weapons. All of them are high poly models with some really interesting designs. Then for some particles, here's a massive mega pack. This one includes over 200 projectiles, there's 200 hits and 200 muzzle flashes. They are all really unique, you've got some simple projectiles just like a bullet and some that are really very creative. If you like effects then definitely check out Gabriel's entire publisher page, there's lots of awesome stuff there. If you're making something in the vein of The Sims then check out this low poly house interior. Everything looks really nice and cozy, you've got tons and tons of props, over 2000. There's a fully set up scene as well as a scene with all the props. If you want something a bit more industrial then check out this pack. 
Looking at this one immediately makes me want to do some kind of warehouse or factory automation management game. The props look really nice, you've got some conveyor belts, lots of pallets, boxes, tool boxes and a bunch more. Then for something for outside scenes, here's some super high quality cliffs. They've got quite an insane amount of detail, and with rocks like these, you can definitely build huge scenes just by reusing the same assets, rotating and scaling them. And for something quite unique, here is a modular air palace. This one could be excellent if you're making some kind of game set in the Middle East, so perhaps something just like the next Assassin's Creed. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Asset Store for September 22. There's a link to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.